Okay, in this video, I'm going to take you through a quick walk through Gretel. So here's the icon. You double click, you open up the program. Basically, it's a blank screen. You have a few live menus like File, Tools, and the Help menu. Let's start from the File menu. But one of the things that you're going to use often is to open data. So to bring in your own data file, either in Excel or CSV, user file would be where you go. But Gretel comes with its own set of data, which is in the sample files. So if you click this, here you have three sets of data from Ramanathan's, Ramanathan's very famous textbook, from Green, which is a graduate textbook, and Gretel's own data. Ramadei then, incidentally, was the professor who actually started with the Gretel project many years back. It was dropped for a while, but later on, other people picked it up, and we're now lucky to have Gretel with us. There are, of course, very many more, which I will show you later on. Back in the file uh, menu, you can also go to New Dataset, and you can type in your data manually through the keyboard. You can change the working directory and so on. Next, the Tools menu allows you to look at statistical tables. For example, if you want to get the right-hand probability of a standard normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1, say for 0.05, so it's 5% probability on the right tail, then it will tell you that the Z is, is value is 1.645. So it actually gives you right up to five decimal places. You also have the option for the T distribution, the chi-squared, F, binomial, Poisson, Weibull, and that was your Dubin Watson statistic. You can also find the opposite, which is the p-value. So if you have, if you take a value of Z, 1.645 at the normal distribution, say OK, and you see it's about 5%. Here you have your results to many decimal places. You have some very nice graphic facilities with Gretel. You can actually draw, for example, the normal distribution, and there you have publication quality graphics. You can also do the T, chi, and F squared, and so on. We have also the command log, where you can actually type in your comments rather than just using the mouse. You can also link Gretel to the R program as well. Let's move on to the help. The help menu provides some very nice uh, PDF files. Here's the user guide, for example, if you click this. So here is the uh, Gretel's user guide. It's a PDF file of 472 pages long, pretty long. So here it gives you the basic information about Gretel. And, but more interestingly, you can also get some details of the econometric methods or models available in Gretel from panel data, econometrics, to maximum likelihood, GMM estimation, time series filters, and we are going to see many of these in the videos to come. Now, what I like to do also is if you click this and go in, it actually shows you some of the equations. It's a nice summary and reminder of time series techniques that you might have forgotten. In the help menu, you also have the command reference. This is a PDF file again with all the commands that are used in Gretel that are available for you. And here you have the Hansel Premiere. Makes sense? Hansel and Gretel. Hansel is the programming language that Gretel uses. So if you want to fully program the package, you can learn a little bit of Hansel. Gretel is also moving to machine learning algorithms like SVM, which is support vector machines. And lastly, here's a nice snapshot of the version that I'm using, which is the latest one, 2021A. Gretel is usually updated once every six months. So this is the latest version that you're seeing here. To get out, file, say quit, and you're out. That's it, guys. See you in the next video.